Hello guys, welcome back to the Brutal Investor channel. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today. In this episode, we're going to talk about another project that recently got listed on Coinbase. And this project is called Silo or the SYLO token, right? Again, as always guys, I highly recommend you guys to do your own research on any of the projects we cover on our channel. And for this project, I recommend you guys to go to the website silo.io, that is SYLO.io. In order to learn more about this product, right? But before we talk about Silo, I want to talk to you guys about ITOS Capital. If you are a resident or citizen of the United States, then you can use ITOS Capital to invest in crypto using your IRA, right? So you can use uh, ITOS Capital to buy and sell crypto as well as gold and silver 24 7 in your tax advantage IRA, right? So if you go to the website itoscapital.com, and you search for some information, including their pricing information, you can first of all see that they have some of the most transparent pricing mechanisms in place of any other platform in the crypto space. This includes providing a monthly free account for personal use, which is pretty cool. So you basically don't have to pay any money to maintain your account on a monthly basis. It's fully free of charge. And they also charge only a 1% cryptocurrency transaction fees, $50 over spot per ounce for gold, and $2.50 for spot per ounce for silver, right? So these are some of the lowest fees in the crypto space. And if you scroll further below, when you create an Altus Capital account, not only will you get these benefits, but you also get additional benefits, which includes the fact that they'll facilitate your transfer, rollover, and contribution to fund your IRAs. They'll provide you with all the necessary IRS and tax reporting information. Uh, they'll provide you with unlimited storage with institutional custody partners. And they will also provide support and maintenance for your platform. And all of this is done with no additional charge or hidden fees, right? So that's the benefit of ITOS Capital. So when you scroll further below, you can see that they have a video about their pricing and fee mechanisms, as well as the fact that, uh, you know, you can get a tutorial on how you can perform in-kind transfers, right? So you have some of the best uh, tools that you can use to make the most money for, from your crypto, uh, gold, as well as your silver right so when you scroll further below you can see some of the faqs that they have and one thing is that if you use the link in the description uh, to create a, create your uh, itis capital account and fund it with a thousand dollar amount you can basically get ten dollars in welcome bonus as well as uh, an opportunity to uh, you know maintain your funds and grow your crypto fund specifically in a tax advantage IRA, right? And by using the link in the description to setting up for an ITS Capital account, you're also supporting the Brutal Investor channel for which I can advance. So going back to the silo token, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to rely on the information present on CoinMarketCap's page for this token, along with the information present on the website itself. But this is only going to be a peripheral analysis, which means you need to do your own in-depth research before you put your hard-earned money on this token, right? So what is silo? Silo is a decentralized communication and data exchange network powered by a layer 2 micropayments infrastructure and the silo token itself so what silo aims to do is it's a decentralized communication and data exchange network that is built on the layer 2 micropayment solution or infrastructure platform that is fully powered by their token silo right so they take token basically supports the entire ecosystem in place and they provide uh, you know, uh, decentralized communication and data exchange services, right? So users run service peers provide infrastructure to the network, which allows developers and businesses to run privacy first unstoppable apps without deploying any infrastructure of their own. So the developers benefit heavily from this platform because they don't have to build any infrastructure of their own. They can use silos existing infrastructure to basically uh, run the network and at the same time all the services that are provided are user run services and these are basically the uh, backbone of all the uh, you know information as well as the incredible privacy that's the uh, focus of uh, silo as well as the unstoppable apps are built on top of right so uh, basically silo provides developers with a lot more flexibility and a lot more use cases compared to several other infrastructure platforms right so a staking architecture and unique probabilistic tickering solution or ticketing solution uh, ensures minimal transaction fees and limited scalability. So, uh, sorry, limitless scalability. So the thing is when 
you focus on staking architecture silo has one of the best staking architectures in place of any crypto project and you can basically use their platform to uh, pro, uh, to basically pay the minimalistic fees that you can and at the same time uh, you know enjoy limitless scalability so you can basically have unlimited scalability for the lower cost compared to any other platform out there right so this scalability is already on show within the project's flagship app the silo smart wallet a decentralized private messenger and uh, crypto wallet so they have one of the products that they have on their platform is called silo smart wallet not only is it a wallet but it's also a private messenger and it's also fully decentralized and it's fully built through the silos backbone without having uh, to create any form of infrastructure from scratch right so that's the benefit of silo and quick overview of silo as well so let's go to their website which is silo.io if you want to go to their website to do your own research this is the place you need to go and right off the bat they have a pretty cool website with uh, a very uh, you know intricate background uh, comms for the metaverse so building an open and inclusive web3 run by community silo provides an incentivized node network where any wallet address can part, uh, can communicate with any other wallet address so they're trying to provide an intricate decentralized mechanism for any wallet address to communicate with other wallet addresses uh, nft owner or smart contract participant without any reliance on centralized party so not only can your wallet address can communicate with other wallet addresses you can actually use your nfts to communicate with other nfts or smart contract participation can be done in a fully decentralized manner right so the silo network is decentralized and end to end encrypted so which means you can use silo network to build messaging apps which is exactly what their wallet does provide right so if you want to learn more about this project you can click on the documentation button here and if you scroll below this is kind of how their wallet looks like you can store multiple cryptocurrencies including bitcoin as well as uh, other ethereum based erc20 tokens as well as ethereum itself uh, so you can also chat with uh, your friends and family so it provides a multi versatile platform to do a lot of activities right so communicate directly from your wallet so you can use your wallet to communicate directly and it's fully end to end encrypted which means nobody can spy on you right so you can download this app right now uh, using uh, you know the, the app store or google play depending on whether you're an ios user or a google play user and if you scroll further below they have uh, basically provide another information on how you can run a node yourself so contribute to the world's decentralized communication network so they're calling themselves as the world's decentralized communication network and you can learn more about that by clicking on the about the network button here if you scroll further below the silo network is decentralized communications for all things decentralized so um, you can use the silo network for the metaverse uh, silo for the web3 wallets silo for communities right so these are some of the applications of silo that you can use readily silo connects digital world so they do provide uh, connectivity for multiple different worlds uh, since they are trying to uh, you know use their application to the metaverse level you need to have functionalities where you can connect your metaverse to other metaverses which is exactly what silo offers right so they also have a software development kit or sdk which allows uh, developers to build uh, you know multiple different uh you know themes and dapps and nfts and metaverses through the silo sdk right so if you scroll further below this is kind of like an example uh of a game that they've created so connect pfp to pfp in identity based nft meta game so if you take nft pfps for example or profile picture nfts for example you can only use one pfp for one application but what silo aims to do is to uh, create an interoperable situation where you can use one pfp of one metaverse uh, into another uh, metaverse without having to worry about any form of bridging uh, issues or any form of infrastructural uh, bridges or anything in place right so this is an example so fly f is kind of like a metaverse game where you can use one um nft pfp to another metaverse so that's pretty cool so glorious enables creators and fans to interact with privilege granting nfts smart wallets so again this is something that we already discussed before where they have wallets that can be used for uh, you know messenger purposes as well and asm so your ai driven nft can communicate and interact with you on the network so this is pretty cool because ai driven nft in a decentralized space is going to be very popular in the future and that's going to be the next big thing out there and silo is already the front runner of this uh, theme right so 
that's pretty cool so here they're talking more about what silo is and what they do and here is documentation for the developers if you're a developer who wants to build on silo and there is if you go to the bottom of the page you can find um, you can basically subscribe to the newsletter by using your email id here and clicking the subscribe button along with joining their community which includes a lot of social media information as well right so if you scroll further below you can find other information rewards as well as uh, you know the token itself uh, and, and everything about their other products you can learn more about that on their website at the bottom of their page right so a very versatile and informative website that they have which is quite interesting to see and it's also good to see some of the active applications that uh, silo is being used for currently right so going back to the coin market cap page for this token this token is currently ranked 759th by market cap and coin market cap and it's currently trading at less than 1 cent per token it's in fact taking uh, is in fact uh, trading at about 0.003 dollars per token which is significantly smaller when it comes to sticker price as well as the fact that in the past 24 hours this token has been getting hammered in fact it's down close to 9.3 percent which is quite a bit of a damage there if you ask me in the past 24 hours but it is definitely giving opportunities for people to look into this project to buy this project at a good discount right so if you take a look at the market cap the token has a market cap of slightly less than 10 million dollars which means it's still an early project that has a long way to go and it can definitely do uh, incredible milestones in the future right so if we scroll further below the max supply again the tokenomics is where this project gets a little weak because the max supply shows that this token has 10 billion tokens which is a huge supply as you already know uh, any token that has more than 100 million tokens is not really my kind of a token uh, but again uh, there are a lot of projects that have more than 1 billion tokens which is a consistent theme these days uh, and silo is also a victim for that right so the circulating supply is 24 percent which is not bad but it could have been better right and at the same time if you see the circulating supply uh, being only 24% also adds to the fact that this token will face temporary short-term price lumpings because a lot of new tokens will be dumped into the market which will push the price of this token to the mid uh, for the mid to short-term period, right? So that's going to be the main problem with projects that have more than 100 million tokens. Um, you know, in, the, in, this fact, in this case, it seems like this token has 10 billion tokens, which is quite a huge sum of tokens. To be dumped into the market right so that's going to be something that you have to bear with when it comes to you know tokenomics based price slumping for this token right so when it comes to the uh, charts itself you can clearly see that the tokenomics despite the fact that they are quite uh, you know unsustainable in the short to mid term uh, the token has performed quite well and impressively it has performed very well in fact in the uh, short term because it has definitely made some predictable pumps and dumps which does mean that this project can be uh, making you some really good gains if you know when to buy and when to sell right so when it comes to the price itself the token was worth 0.005 dollars per token as of 6th of uh, june 2020 it reached a peak of about 0.007 dollars per token as of 23rd of june 2020 and then from there it crashed to make its all-time low of 0.0008 dollars per token as of 19th of january 2021 right and from then on it this token literally reached its new all-time highs of close to one cent per token as of 10th of uh, may 2021 so if you had bought this token at the rock bottom price and you have sold it at one cent per token you'd be sitting in a really good gains right now and uh, kudos to people who have done that uh, but if you did not sell this token at that price point or if you had bought it at that price point the token would have probably dumped significantly and you sh you you'll probably be holding your bags right now so you need to be very careful with these kind of products right so when you see this kind of token pumping extremely hard you should not buy this token uh, but at the same time for people who bought it at this dip uh, and sold it at 0.008 dollars per token they would have made some good gains in fact people would have had a lot of opportunities to make some good gains because people uh, literally can see this token making extremely predictable cycles of up and down motion uh, the only time this token went below the trend was basically as of 28th of uh, may 2022 when the token reaches all time low for this year of 0.002 dollars per token right but if you had bought it at this, uh, that time uh, you could have sold it at a price of close to 0.006 dollars per token and now it seems like this token is going in the downward direction again so i think this token can go even further below you can you can actually touch 0.002 dollars per token which is probably the best time to buy this token so i would still suggest you to 
uh, weight because this token can go even further lower and once it goes to 0.002 dollars per token you can either buy a small bag or a big bag depending on your risk tolerance level and then hold on to it till this token reaches the 0.008 dollars per token which is probably going to be the case in the few in a few months from now right so you can definitely buy this low and sell this high buy it at 0.002 and sell it at 0.008 and keep doing that again and again because this token is going to move sideways in a bouncy upward and downward path pattern which you can definitely take advantage of if you are a short term trader right but at the same time if you don't know what you're doing you need to be very careful because you could lose a lot of money and you could definitely uh, end up even losing your entire portfolio if you uh, if you're not careful with investing uh, only the amount that you can afford to lose in this product right so be very careful of that for this uh, time i can suggest you to basically uh, do your own research make sure you understand the risks of this product and make sure you try to allocate only a small portion of your portfolio not a lot and wait till the token goes even further below which it will go down in the next upcoming weeks right but again if you see uh, from a long term perspective as well uh, i think long term perspective is going to be a little bit uh, gray here because i don't think this token can go as high as 1 or 1.2 cents per token as it did back in a few years uh, because i think this token will probably have a lot of competition and it will have a lot of tokenomics based price slumping that will push the price of this token down and i don't think it will reach its uh, previous all time highs anytime soon i think even in the next bull rally i think the maximum this token can go is go as high as 0.009 dollars per token again I'm trying to be uh, practical here. I'm not trying to be pessimist, but at the same time, there's definitely lots of short-term opportunities to be made, but not necessarily in the long term, right? So be very careful with this token. So when it comes to the markets itself, obviously this token is listed on Coinbase, so you can definitely expect some really good liquidity from Coinbase, where you can buy and sell without any uh, headache. Uh, you can also buy this token from KuCoin. Uniswap version 2 Uniswap version 3 as well as uh, Gerdaio but i think you can basically stick till uh, you know Gerdaio i wouldn't recommend going below that because you will probably end up uh, with lower liquidity and trouble withdrawing this token from the at exchange right uh, Uniswap version 2 and version 3 basically come with a very high gas fees cost so be very careful of that as well so what's my final verdict on this token guys i think this token has some really good Uh, fundamentals but i think the tokenomics is one of the biggest let down of this project it definitely has some really really impressive price action when it comes to short term price action you can definitely buy it low and sell it high and make some consistent gains as long as it's moving in the bouncy up and down direction which i think in my personal opinion it will continue to happen till uh, the next bull run i think this token will make some nice waves up and down to make some short term gains in the long term there will be price slumping this token will definitely have some price slumping because a lot of tokens will be dumped into the market which will reduce your opportunity to make some good gains in the long term so if you are looking for a long term opportunity this token probably may not be the case you can easily find some long term projects in uh, in the brutal investor channel if you search for it we have covered a lot of video in this channel so you can look into that to get some really good long term projects but for this token short term is the way to go right i can easily see this token reaching as high as 0.008 dollars per token it will uh, before that go to 0.002 so make sure that you look into that price point to see if that's a comfortable buy for you before you buy this token right again remember guys you guys are not regular investors you guys are brutal investors so stay brutal thank you very much for watching my video guys if you like my video please hit the like button and subscribe for more videos see you in my next video bye